Hey guys, welcome back to 12 Days of Christmas with me. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys four Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs. Yes, please. I am so excited about how these DIYs turned out. I think they are so cute and I think it definitely is a little bit of like a wide range of different decor like themes and styles. We have a little bit of pink. We have some gingerbread. We have some rustic Christmas. I hope that this video gives you some inspiration to jazz up some of your older decor pieces, maybe some of your thrifted decor pieces, or maybe just some Dollar Tree items. If you do enjoy my Dollar Tree DIYs, if you love crafting, please give this video a thumbs up. If you are new around here, I'm Bianca. I'm so glad that you found my channel, and if you do like what you see, I hope that you will subscribe. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, jumping into DIY number one. I have this larger decor piece that I got at Walmart during the after Christmas clearance sales last year and I thought it would be the perfect piece to DIY for Miss Olivia's room. And I did pick up this little happy galvanized piece from the Dollar Tree and I have some leftover ballet slipper paint. So Mark helped me take off this little holiday galvanized piece here. It was just simply screwed in. We unscrewed all of the screws and pulled it off. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in ballet slipper. It was a little bit of a rough job because I did not use any painter's tape. So you'll see a little, a little wonkiness, but in the end, I do go back and touch up those little areas. While that was drying, I went ahead and unscrewed the little happy galvanized word from the little wooden bottom. And then I just took scissors and cut the little base off of the happy and it worked. And now that the paint's dry, I am going to apply the little galvanized wording right back on. So I hope that this just gives you some inspiration to look around and see what you already have and see if you can revamp it into a new decor piece. Once I secured the little holiday word, which it was super easy to put back on, I went ahead and took some E6000 and applied the little happy piece on there. Now I am showing you a few things that you can do here. You can either use some vinyl. I had these little leftover galvanized snowflakes from Hobby Lobby from last year. I also have some stencils. You could take some paint or maybe like a chalk marker and go ahead and jazz this little piece up. Since I do have a silhouette, I went ahead and made some snowflake decals and popped them on here. And I think that this little item, actually it's a huge item. I think it turned out so cute and it was the perfect addition to Miss Olivia's pink Christmas. And if you are needing some more pink Christmas inspiration, definitely take a look at our DIYs and a room tour from last year. Okay, moving along to DIY number two, I have this little Dollar Tree wall decor piece. I love picking up these pieces because the back actually pops out and it's super easy to paint or cover with scrapbooking paper. I did go ahead and give my little backing two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in white. Once it was dry, I popped it back in and it is time to jazz this little piece up. I have these little gingerbread ornaments from a Walmart. They came in a three pack for I think about $6. They are so cute. I am doing a little a gingerbread theme on my hot cocoa bar this year, which if you haven't seen that video, I will have it linked down below. So I'm simply just going to take one of these little gingerbread houses and apply some hot glue and stick it to the back of my decor piece. Now you can do a couple of things with the background. You can either paint on some polka dots, some snowflakes, some little peppermint candies, but I have these little buttons that I got during the after Christmas clearance sales at Hobby Lobby. I had them in my stash, which I highly recommend for you to check out what you have in your stash and use it up. And I went ahead and just like cut the little button part off, took some hot glue and placed them around the gingerbread house. And I think it was so cute. 
just adorable. And to just jazz this piece up a little bit more, I did have some of this ribbon from Walmart and it's kind of like that gingham frosted gingerbread house look. I'm obsessed. I did pick it up in two sizes, but I am going with the larger size. I just made a simple little bow. I did go ahead and glue another little candy button to the center of it and hot glued it to my decor piece and that's a wrap for this. I think this little DIY turned out super cute. You can replicate this with a variety of different ornaments from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar General has a lot of cute ornaments. Or look at your stash and see what maybe what didn't you put on your tree this year that you could actually use in a decor piece. Go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. Moving right along to the next DIY. Now this is going to be a Dollar Tree and a thrifted DIY. So I have this 2022 calendar from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, the calendars from the Dollar Tree are always so cute. So definitely take a look at them the next time you are in the store. And I'm going to go ahead and keep this little cardboard piece that the calendar came with. And I am going to rip out very gently the December page. It's a cute little mason jar that says Merry Christmas y'all. I think it is absolutely adorable. Now if you don't have this calendar maybe you have last year's calendar on hand or another calendar in general. You can use a piece of cardboard maybe from any like leftover Amazon boxes that you have. I'm just going to trim it down to size to fit into this little thrifted frame that I have. Y'all I got this frame. I actually got three of them. They're wall decor pieces for $1.99 each. You just can't beat those prices at the thrift store and this is going to be like a temporary DIY. I don't want to glue the calendar piece down to the frame which if you have a frame that you don't mind turning into a permanent Christmas piece then go ahead and glue your calendar page directly to the surface but I do want to reuse my frame so I'm just going to cut my calendar piece to fit the cardboard and glue it down and then simply just stick it into the frame. Since it is on the cardboard it's a very snug fit and voila look at that this little item cost three dollars to make a dollar 99 for the frame and a dollar for the calendar i mean maybe a quarter for the calendar because i only used a, a piece of it and i still have 11 more pages to use i love how simple this piece turned out you definitely could add some greenery or a bow but let me know what you think about it in the comments down below in hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that Moving along to our last DIY, I have this Dollar Tree no mug. Isn't it so stinking cute? And I have these 98 cent picks from Walmart, but I got them during the after Christmas clearance sales last year. So look at your stash. Dollar Tree always comes out with really, really pretty picks, but I'm trying to use up what I already have. So I'm just taking some leftover Dollar Tree floral foam that I've used in a previous project. I just like to reuse it. So I cut it down to size to fit in my mug and I'm just going to deconstruct these picks because the mug is very small. If you have a larger mug, basket, little bucket or pail that you're using, you probably won't have to deconstruct your picks, but I definitely wanted to do that so that I could play around with different heights. So I'm just simply going to stick these into the floral foam. I do have some of the frosted berries from the Dollar Tree and I do have some leftover frosted pine cones that I'm going to use as well. Now my camera died at this point and I had no idea. So what you didn't see was I took some Waverly chalk paint in white on a sponge brush and I just simply added some white paint to the picks to just give it a very snowy flow locked look. And it's as simple as that. We have a super cute floral arrangement in a tiny no mug on a budget. Yes, please. Last year I And 
be a wrap for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. I would love to know which DIY was your favorite. I really love my gingerbread decor piece, but that thrifted little piece came together so cute. And I'm always here for a pink Christmas. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you have missed any video in my 12 days of Christmas series, I will have the complete playlist in the description box below. Thank you so, so much for watching and spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly appreciate it. And I hope that you are having a wonderful holiday season. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss my next video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.